talking about entrepreneurship entrepreneurship okay. you know what what does it mean what does it entail so we want to understand it okay so entrepreneurship is um you seeing a problem in a community mm. And you solving that. the opportunity alone and leaving it just like that, but you need to bring solution to you it. Bring solution, and the solution, you know, it's more like now you see that you have to turn it into business. You are abroad, at abroad, US, UK, and you want to build. Sometimes you know some people in their like they give money to their family members. Yeah, to build sometimes, for them. sometimes there is a lot. Of they will come back and they will see hand cook instead of what the money. Yeah, so um, Philly E they come up with a website Beautiful. that you can find plumbers masonry just mention it I know anything. all these people i'm very much sure they are from obendako sure so if you are from obendako the mindset is you different can't, you can't go wrong like you are on path like you're on the right path just because your mindset has been renewed and so my name is always the village boy thank you so much for making time to my youtube channel this is village boy channel and what we do here is that we advocate for villages we impart knowledge and so if you are here or something that um you think is going to add value to your life then you may consider subscribing i'm here with my resource person eric we have, you've been seeing on this platform and so there's no need for any introduction again we're going straight to the point eric you're welcome thank you now then Micah, you, yeah. you know I'm I'm have. I'm I'm <laughs> okay so thank you very much um for this opportunity i think um we have to spend time developing ourselves developing our mindset mm. so thank you for uh, thank invitation you. again all right all right so today we're going straight to the point we're going to be talking about entrepreneurship entrepreneurship okay. you know what what does it mean what does it entail so we want to understand it okay so entrepreneurship is um you seeing a problem in a community mm. and you solving that problem in a business way so let's wow. say um, I'm in school. Mm. Um, a particular joint uh, or a particular place where people walk from a, f a far distance before maybe they can get a place to withdraw Momo. Okay. So having that creative mind to be like, okay, what if I set up a Momo joint here? Mm. Can I make profits? Can I can I help people and make profits? So that time, I, in that case, I, I have an entrepreneur mind. Okay. An entrepreneur mind is you are not waiting for someone to come and tell you. Like you see the opportunity, you have trained your mind to listen. That, okay, I saw the need of people who want, you know, they would like Momo service. So let me set up a Momo here. Another one will be like, you are at a place that you realize that um, in my hostel after the selling Piotr. So oh, my, okay, my, okay. my hostel realized that there was a lady there who was selling bag of water. Okay. And that was, people were buying from them because they know it. The lady they have left the level 400, so she left last year. Okay. She completed. Then I saw that opportunity that now because she's not there, we all go to outside to buy the water. Yeah. So this is the business that I want to start. That I'll buy the water there. Then people will come and buy it from me. So entrepreneur is like you are not waiting for. It's not like you know, someone is giving me the job. You 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 see you are training your mind that you see opportunity. Then you solve that problem for. Business. So it's not just like identify the opportunity alone and leaving it just like that. But you need to bring solution to you it. Bring solution, and the solution you know it's more like now you see that you have to turn it into business. So solution into business. Turn the solution. Yes, so you should. That, so that we get it right. Okay. So you see a problem. Let's say um. Let me take you Dumso as an example. Okay. We have Dumso. That's a huge problem. It's a national problem. Mm. So the mechanical students, the electric le electrician, the electrical students, you know, this is a challenge for them. They should come up, they should use their brain to come up with a product that can even uh, maybe someone can buy in the house. Uh, it can solve that problem for them. Okay. So someone will complete that this is a problem, big problem, Dumso, Dumso someone should also go somewhere and create the solution for it that person will become an entrepreneur he's creating uh, a solution for major problems in exchange of for money in exchange for money sure so so, so now the thing is um a lot of people will say that you know i don't have the capital so even if identifying the opportunity, identify the problem, solving it, sometimes it involves money. You know, you have the idea though, but it involves money. So there's no need. Let me go and seek for a job and those kind of stuff. Do you think everyone can become an entrepreneur? 
Yes, everyone can become an entrepreneur. Are some, are some people born to be entrepreneurs or you, you learn it? Okay, so um, I always talk about environment. Hmm. I think um, the reason why we don't have most, like a lot of entrepreneurs in Ghana is that we haven't created that env- enter- em- uh, entrepreneur minded environment. Okay. So my mom would tell me that go to school and get a good job so that you can take care of your family. Some places, you know, places like China, mm. even though they have they, they work, they have people working for them, but they have that education that builds something for China. The, it's not the Chinese government that's building it. You can also build it. So you can come up with your own solution. And one, one thing I would like, look at Facebook, Amazon, mm. Netflix. Do you think government sets it up? No, I'm sure individual. But it's employed, it employs almost, I can say that, let's say, estimately 70% of the people. Mm. So if you are in a country and you are waiting for government to employ you, it's more like you are, you are waiting for something that will never happen. Okay, so if do you have any steps, any stages in where okay. in which where you can you know move through before you can have that entrepreneur mindset? Because somebody may not this may sound new or may seem to be new to the person. So if we have any stages, let's say step by step in which you can have that mindset where you can develop that entrepreneur. I mean, you are having that knowledge in sure. that. So if you can share, if we have anything of that sort, you can share it with us. Okay, so first of all, you have to be positive. Someone will be like, how is positivity being that like? You mm-hmm. have to be positive. You know, it's something that you want to start. You haven't started yet. Okay. Some people, the moment you tell them that they, they see opportunity, they also cancel the opportunity at the same time. So you have to be positive that whatever you are doing, it can succeed. Mm. It can blow big time. You have to see the bigger picture when you succeed and that, that will satisfy you. So being positive is one. Two, so you have to be able to, and this, the link, the first one and what I'm going to say links, you have to be able to identify opportunity. Opportunity as in, you know, you have that creative mind, you are intentional. Mm. You know, some people, you know, their mind that is, they are here, but their mind is not here. Okay. So you have to be intentional. I want to say, when you are, me, I'm intentional about life. I watch things. Sometimes I watch. Sometimes I'll be walking around like, okay, when I complete, school, maybe I can set up a store here. I realize that people pass there a bit. Mm. You know, I'm identifying the opportunity. Okay, okay. This uh, I sell tables. I sell projectors. Mm. Okay, when I have, I can even give a table to this man, the one with Momo, uh, Momo vendor. People go there a lot too. People can see the table and they will buy it, students will buy it. So, you know, you have been able to identify opportunity. Two, you have to know how to, three, you have to know how to sell. Okay. You have to know how to sell, as in uh, presenting product to people, uh, looking where people need. So, a pain point. Hmm. Pain point. The other time I mentioned that. So, all, so the, one individual that he has been able to identify the opportunity broad solution to it that same person needs to be able to like have the ability to sell so, because someone may say that well we have marketing you know marketers out there so why don't i employ someone to okay. do the selling so you, uh, do you think it's 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 good for the person to have all these qualities like okay so first of all you have to start small mm. so my my mentor or mm. if you haven't followed that man go and follow him he's a very good man definitely so you have to start small starting small no? You know, maybe you are doing your 95 job or you are doing job one side. You don't have that capital to go and employ someone. So you become a sales personnel, you become maybe finance. Like you have to learn and it's good when you start small because when you start small, you learn the bits of the skills. Okay. You learn, you know what goes into all of them. Mm. So when you go to a point that you need people to support you, it's more like you know whatever goes into, but you don't have that capital to go and employ someone. So you start small and start with you or your family. Hmm. What are some of the opportunities that people can actually look out for? What are those opportunities? You know, someone maybe will be like, how do I identify? I don't know. So if you can give us some areas that people should be intentional, looking, searching for those kind of stuff. Okay, so let's boy, you are the village, right? Hmm. You are advocating for villages. Exactly. So you can identify that, okay, um, there is a lot of 
maize in my village mm. that is is abundant. So you can be like, okay, you can go and do your research at maybe Makola or any place that they sell, they buy maize, mm. maize or any uh, local. Food. Then you ask for the price. Then you compare the price at the same place where they sell it, your village. Okay. You compare the price. You what? You see the difference. Now you can calculate to the sense, okay, when I, I buy, maybe I buy even from the fa local farmers, I can buy like 10 bag of rice mm. and I go and sell it at Makola. Definitely the price will rise. Yeah, def definitely. So, you know, it's not something far away. It's not something, it's within our reach. You are, yes, one thing, you have to be intentional. You have to be positive, as I said. Mm. And you have to be observant. So now... I was I was walking around uh, right now and you have to you have to be intentional. So I was walking around. I want to set up a, a, a particular store or something. Okay. So now when I'm working, I'm intentional. Like okay, so when I set it up here, would it would it be profitable? Mm. Is people pass it? Do people pass there? Yeah. So all you need to do is to just be intentional. Sometimes, granted, it's what maybe you are brought up with. I can see that you do a lot of Gary. Mm. And be like, okay, now I'm knowledge in the area just because I'm from that area. Okay. I wanna, my mom sells, my dad sells, so it's mm. more like they're selling. I have that skill, skill a bit. Okay. And so I can pick it from there, right? So maybe your mom is someone who sells maybe yam. You can process the yam to something different because now your mom have the you have that lineage, mm. you have that history of yam, so you can add some value to it. Maybe your your dad sell onions. You can be like, okay, how can I package the onion so, so that value to it. add value and sell it at higher prices? Okay, that's beautiful. Another one is at what age? At what age do you become or can you become an entrepreneur? Because someone will say, well, I'm young. I'm in my twenties, and so I don't have to have that kind of entrepreneur mindset. Okay, at so what, is he at any age you can become an entrepreneur? Okay, at any age? okay so. Um, you can become an entrepreneur at any age. Okay. Entrepreneur, you don't need certificates. Just like you need a job. Mm. So if you want to start uh, an entrepreneur or business, they are not going to ask for your degree. So you know, maybe for me, maybe before, maybe I come, I was twenty eight before. Maybe I get my degree. Let's mm. see. That means that's the only time that I can go and look for a job. Yeah. But entrepreneur, you are your own boss. Your own boss. So you do, if you are five boss. years old and you, you know what you are doing, you can become an entrepreneur. Amazing. Eric, we are so grateful for your time because you've really shared so much yeah. insightful information with us on this yep. platform. And, um, you know, uh, we are about wrapping up, but sure. you've shared one thing about uh, one web website. Sure. And I want you to, I mean, emphasize on that so that we wrap up okay so um if you are outside if you are in any part of ghana mm. and you are looking for artisans honest artisans okay uh, artisans is honest good. honest honest one. honest ethical one it's not the people that uh, they will promise you today will, we are doing this meanwhile yes, we are world trained okay so go to this website tilly e artisan pro artisan dot com okay. right for the benefit Tilly of uh, for the benefit of uh, what you call it for people to get it right we'll put it on the screen as well as yeah. the link in the description so exactly. that they get it right exactly so wh wherever you are you are abroad, at abroad us uk and you want to build sometimes you know some people in their like they give money to their family members yeah to sometimes sometimes there is a lot of they will come back and they will see hand cook instead of what a mansion yeah so um Tilly e they come up with a website Good. that you can find plumbers, masonry, just mention it. And all, all these people, I'm very much sure they are from Obendako. Sure, so if you are from Obendako, the mindset is you different. Can, you can't go wrong. Like you are on path, like you are on the right path. That's because your mindset has been renewed. And you know something, before we wrap up, this, <laughs> this I need to say this, you know. Sure. Um, listening to Obendako, the kind of things that he shares on his platform, and the kind of wisdom i mean that i've gained from these videos is the, the write-ups and all sure. you know other things Charlie, it has really built my mindset and i always say that if i want to gym my body i go to the gym or i raise heavy objects to gym to look you know well physique if i want to build my mental faculty or my mindset 
I need to consume something of positive, something that is educative, something that will will actually, you know, trigger my neurons. Exactly. Right? And Obin Dakon is doing perfectly well in exactly. that field. Exactly. So I always tell people that I can beat my I can beat my chest and recommend Obin Dakon exactly. because of what he's doing. Exactly. You are a mentee, I'm exactly. a mentee. Exactly. He's our mentor. Sure. We are doing so much. Like exactly. he's doing so much for yes. Ghana and as well as Africa. Any final words? Okay, so uh, first of all, um, I think we are promoting the man of being that So if you haven't followed him, go and follow him. Definitely. Um, you know, you are you are, as an African, if you don't know your history, it's more like you are not going anywhere, mm. right? So at that, that time, you were talking about uh, local language. It's yeah. very very important. If you are there and very you are, important, you have given birth and you don't you don't want your kids to even speak a local language. I I know I, I have seen some before, so that's why I'm mm. saying. You know, Africans, we are great. Don't look down upon yourself. Africans, Maybe, we are great. Don't look down upon yourself. And be positive about Africa. Be positive about everything. If you want to succeed in Africa, if you want to be a good entrepreneur, if you rely on the positive news, you can't build anything great in Africa. If you want to be build something big in Africa, be positive about Africa, regardless of the negativity. The negativity. Eric, we are much grateful. Thank you so much for coming. And as usual, these are many things that we share on this platform. My name is always The Village Boy. If you have not subscribed to the channel, do us the honest. Subscribe. The name alone will shock you. I have been telling you this. Mm -hmm. You know, there is that kind of, um, and, uh, what do you call it, a, a misconception about people coming from the villages. Those in the cities, they have that yeah. kind of misconception yeah, sure. that they, those from the villages, excuse me, they don't have that kind of, you know, in quotes, you know, wisdom or they are not literate or they are not intelligent. But we are shocking you today. Village Boy is shocking you today. Exactly. Make sure you subscribe and be part of us. Today, I believe you've learned something good, something great. So share the video to your family, your friends and everyone. We'll see you another time. Bye. Peace. Out. Peace.